Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Thursday. Coming at you with Topps Triple Threads Baseball 2019 edition. Nine box inner case picker team number 23 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Now, everyone knows how wonderful this stuff is. Um, this came to us just as its own inner case, not as a part of a master. But there were no objections to the people who got into the break. So, good luck, and thank you for getting into the action. Uh, it appears as if Brandon Bray Saunders has taken a strong position on this break, so good luck to him. And thanks to everyone else who got into the action as well. We really appreciate it. Rex got my Dodgers. This is some good stuff here. Excellent. Thank you very much, everyone, for getting in. And at the end of the break, we went to the Tops Industry Conference. They hooked us up with one of these. So a little beanie with a, with a with a bobble on it. I think call them bobbles, right? There you go. So at the end of the break, I'll randomize everybody's name and the name on top. We'll get this little extra prize that we got from the Tops Industry Conference. Thank you to Tops for hooking us up with all sorts of fun stuff when we were there. The team had a great time. Whoa, 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 Kelvin. Let's not put that into the universe. I'm not even going to repeat that. You take that out of your mouth. Take that kind of talk out of your mouth. All right, here we go. Box number one. Not yet, Jeremy. I still, I still need a. It's on the list. On the list of many things I need to watch or read. There you go. Uh, remember the two mini boxes in here? Each mini box contains an autograph or a relic. Calvin, are you the kind of guy that talks about no hitters when no hitters are happening? Like a no hitter is happening and Calvin's the guy that goes, man, it would suck if that no hitter goes away. You'd be like, Calvin, come on, man. That's like telling the pitcher. That's like you are you're on the baseball team telling the pitcher, "Hey, it would suck if that no hitter went away." Can't do that. Can't do that. Don't be that guy. All right. Good luck, everybody. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm pretty sure all car chip in this. Out of 75, Javier Baez. They should. Br Brandon with that one. Brandon on the board. Christian Yelich to 199 for the Brew Crew. That's for uh, Meagle, I think Philip. P. Meagle with that. John Smoltz, or Meggle, perhaps. Meagle, Meggle. Apologies if I butchered that. 58 out of 99. Smoltzy, going to Brandon. Aaron Nola to 259. It's Phillies, Patrick Davis. those extra cards on there just to hide them a little bit. Let's see what we got here. There's Heat and Change from Luis Castillo. I think he's going to be incredible this season. 13 out of 27. Red Legs, Kenneth with that one. Last spot mojo. Johnny Damon. Jersey and auto. 58 out of 75. Going to the Yankees, going to Brandon with the Yankees. Chad B., what's up? Chad saying, you heard a stat on your local sports talk radio show in Game 5 of the World Series, I'm assuming in 2017, Kershaw threw 51 off-speed pitches, and the Astros swung and missed at zero of those pitches. You think they knew what was coming? It's almost as if they knew what was going on. As if they were waiting for other pitches. Triple Relic and Autograph, Miguel Andujar, 1 out of 35. Brandon with the Yankees. Miguel Andujar is healthy. He could have a nice season, too. And George Springer, 34 out of 36. 
that it's going to be for the Astros, Brandon, with the Strohs. Speaking of Yankees and injuries, I think someone was saying earlier how Giancarlo Stanton was already getting heat from the from the, you know, the Yankee fans, maybe, or even the press, both, about possibly starting the year off injured again, not ready for opening day, calf strain or something like that. But didn't they know that going into it? I don't know why why anyone in New York would be surprised about that. That's that's unfortunately that's been kind of part of his MO. When healthy, he'll hit a zillion home runs. When healthy. Oh, is Urshela starting over? And Duar could get the chance, though. I mean, they could always find places for him to play. But he had a great season like two years ago, I think. And then got injured last year. He just hasn't really... Hasn't really got his... Uh, there's a uh, Ryan Bellinger, Reggie Jackson, Jacob Degrom has really gotten into gear and do hard. John Mudry saying Stanton needs to work his legs. And apparently, he skips legs days. It seems like it. They're all like lower lower body injuries. That seems seems to be the thing. Ooh, there's Max Muncy. Early AM walk-off. Eight out of nine for the Dodgers. Rex with my Dodgers. Love Max Muncy. He got a nice little extension, too, from the Dodgers. He also hit a home run off Bumgarner in, in, uh, in San Francisco and then told him to get it out of the ocean if he didn't like it. And uh, he's also getting a bobblehead for that moment as well. Some of the, one of the promotions this year. All right, behind Tony Gwynn is Cole Hamels for the Cubbies. Brandon with the Cubs. 11 out of 27. Cole Hamels relic. Tony Gwynn. You got Ken Griffey Jr. Behind him is a Padre. It's Manny Machado. Four out of nine. Nice low number. Triple relic first pitch, it says. First pitch. Manny secured his first 100 RBI season. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, catching first ceremonial pitch from his wife. It's nice. Padres, that'll go to Logan. And behind Ken Griffey Jr. is Ty Buttery. 40 out of 99 for the Halos. That's going to go to Brandon and the Angels. Calvin, the Giants fan, says, don't remind me. Um, Bumgarner's in Arizona now? Is that where he is? It's going to be weird to see him in a on a rival NL West team. Doesn't, doesn't sound right. Like seeing, uh, seeing like the seeing like Kershaw in a Rockies jersey or something. Calvin does not want to be remind, reminded of that either. Why do they? Well, I guess it's more of a rebuilding thing for the Giants. I think they have the money. They just didn't want to put the money into it. What did what did what did old Madison get? Wow, they gave him five years, eighty-five million. That's just, I guess it's not horrible. I, the years seem a little long, but I guess for Bumgarner, he's gonna get that. What's average annual value? About seventeen. There's Mariano Rivera to two fifty, Roy Halladay to two ninety-nine, Ted Williams 
to 259. Willie McCovey to 299. He's got a cove. Behind Ozzie Smith is a Rocky. It's Todd Helton. Remember Todd Helton? Two out of 18. I'm having a hard time reading that. I I INT, hey, ear? <laughs> oh, in the year 2000? I got confused there. The colors were... Uh, in the year 2000. There you go. Helton's 2000 campaign is the only one in Major League lore in which a player amassed at least 200 hits, 40 home runs, 100 RBIs, 100 runs scored, 100 extra base hits, 50 doubles, and 50, 100 walks. What was his war that season? Rockies with that one. That goes to Patrick Davis. We got Giancarlo Stanton. There he is. 7 out of 27. Kind of dinged up again. Yankees, Brandon. And a triple relic. Nine out of nine. You got the Big Hurt, you got the Kid, and you got Big Mac. Frank Thomas, White Sox, Brandon. Seattle Mariners, Brandon. Oakland A's, Brandon? No, Dominic. So that'll be a randomizer at the end. There is a Byron Buxton. Nice patch. Nine out of ten. Twins. That'll be for Brandon. Brand's got a lot of teams in this one. Nice Buxton patch auto. And there's Correa. All right, we're done with the first third of the case. Here comes the second third. Good luck, everybody. Do we have any baseball on? I think I'm, I'm over watching combine stuff now. Seeing people throw footballs to other people. What about Astros at Nationals on the MLB Network? Anything exciting happened there? We've got a ball getting away from a guy in the outfield. Nationals up 4-2 in the bottom of the sixth. Good luck, everyone. What, what are some? Is there any, any other major baseball news happening? There's Tom Seaver to 99, Alex Gordon to 259, Willie Stargell to 50, Vlad Guerrero to 75. That's Vlad Guerrero Senior, so that's Expos edition. That'll go to the Nationals. Now I'm seeing on MLB.com, are the Yanks going to trade for a starting pitcher because Severino's down? I guess they have some extra pieces. Ooh, here's a nice piece of Fernando Tatis' jersey. Three pieces going to Logan and the Padres. Nice one, Logan. Triple relic and on-card autograph. 28 out of 75, Fernando Tatis Jr., Nice. Behind Buster Posey is Evan Longoria. Longo, 4 out of 18 for the Giants. That will be for Kelvin and the Giants. Nice Longoria, Kelvin. You'll get this Buster Posey, too. Behind Gwyn is a red leg. Another heat and change. Luis Castillo, 4 out of 18. This Reds are a great dark horse candidate to maybe win the division. 
That'll be for Kenneth and the Red Legs. We got Christian Vasquez, Jersey and Auto, 24 out of 99. That'll be for Brandon and the Red Sox. Ooh, looks like we got a little help from Nick. All right, next box. We still have not seen a white whale or a triple relic triple auto yet. Not a booklet. No booklet either. None of that yet. Yet. All right, good luck, everybody. Whoa. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Decca Threads Relic Combo. That's what it says right there. You think it's one person or you think it's sad times? I think it's multiple. One happy person? You think it's multiple? Honest, but I don't know. One happy person, one nine sad people. Aaron Nola to 259. Thanks, Isaac. Strasburg to 299. Bye. Mattingling to 50. Willie McCovey to 75. Behind Javier Baez is an Astro star performer. 13 out of 27, especially when you know what's coming. That goes to Brandon and the Astros. Javier Baez reveals a Matt Chapman jersey and autograph, 24 out of 50. Dominic with the A's. Ken Griffey Jr. reveals a Pete Alonzo. We got a Tatis Jr. and a Pete Alonzo in this inner. This goes to the Mets. That goes to Brandon. Brandon got a lot of teams. He did get a lot of teams. I posted it late at night. I was like, what the heck just happened? Did I do it wrong? Did yeah, I maybe add the wrong, yeah. wrong amount of inventory or something like that. No, it was just Brandon doing work. Lorenzo Cain, Brew Crew, Meagle with that. 32 out of 36, Lorenzo Cain. Nice one, Chad. Do you think the Astros are going to ban signs? Like fan si fan made signs going into, like, same from, like, away fans? Lorenzo Kane, once again, for Meagle and the Brewers. We got David Bodie, 6 out of 75, triple relic and autograph for the Cubs. Brandon with the Cubbies. Buster Posey for Kelvin, 9 out of 27. Got a piece of his jersey now, Kelvin. Most of these should be game used. I don't know, it says not from any specific event, game event or season, but could be game used. Nice jersey though, still a piece of his jersey. JD Martinez to 199, Pudge to 299. Thanks, Nick. Triple digits, Dylan Bentances, 36 out of 36. Yankees, Brandon. Yeah, it's going to be a crazy season for them. Although, I don't know. You think they're actually going to get... There's been a lot of uh, Las Vegas props. That have, There's Ian Hab. What's the haps? 32 out of 99 for Brandon and the Cubs. Um, saying, like, how many times the Astros are going to get hit by a pitch this season. But do you think that's really going to happen? I mean, first of all, you got to be in the right opportunity to do that. You know, you want to be the right opportunity to do that, right? Game situation. I mean, you're not hitting. 
Altuve when bases are loaded or something like that. Well, see, I think in the spring training it doesn't matter. They're getting hit like crazy already. I think it doesn't matter in spring training. You know, hit guys like this all you want. In spring training, there's like very little consequences. But in, in, real, in real games, I don't know. Because you have to have the right opportunity. And how often will, that, will those opportunities come up? Triple Relic Yankees. Aaron Pettit, Aaron Pettit, that's one of our customers. Andy Pettit, Derek Jeter, and Mariano. You know, I used to say his name the other way. So how things have changed. Roger Clemens. We got Garrett Hampson for the Rocks. 10 out of 50. That'll be for Patrick Davis and the Rockies. And yes, if you're paying attention closely, that, that is a DECA book in the background. We're going to do that last. Okay, that's a good point, Kyle. Kyle's saying it could happen more late in the season when there are teams that are out of the playoffs who are, right, maybe some angry division rivals that may not be in the playoffs. Rangers, Angels. Pedro Martinez, 259. All right, all right. Maybe, yeah, I mean, that'd be an interesting number. Ooh, triple, this is interesting. Triple Relic and Triple Auto for your World Series champs. Wow. Brandon has the Nationals. There you go, Brandon. Max Scherzer, Juan Soto, and that's Victor Robles on the bottom. Nice. Triple Relic, Triple Autograph. And that is 17 out of 27. Nice. We got Dansby Swanson Relic for the Braves. It's also for Brandon. Roberto Clemente to 25. Well, you know what we should do before the season starts is we find like we find a good number that Vegas has offered for Astros being hit by a pitch and then we can uh, kind of track that over the baseball season. We can keep a, a hit counter. There's Torrey Hunter. He's got a nice auto. 18 out of 18. Outfield leather. Got a good glove. That'll be for the Angels, Brandon B. Who's saying 83 and a half, Jeremy? Where, like, who set that line? Will Myers? I'll accept 83 and a half. Two out of three, Will Myers, by the way. Logan, that's a train whistle for you. So it's a Tease Jr. RPA and a Will Myers train whistle. All aboard the Big Head Express. Whoop, whoop. Oh, that's what Westgate is saying. All right, I like Westgate. Westgate, I'd, I'd say they're a sharp book. So this is Astros team eight hit by a pitch, the official hit by a pitch stat, right, Jeremy? 83 and a half. What did you have to pay for the over? Minus 110? Like, what's the over, what's the under? There's Aaron Judge. He's pretty good. 21 out of 36. Yankees. Brandon. Is it minus, it's minus 110? What was the, was over, under both minus 110 on, on either side? Mitch Hanniger, jersey and autograph, 8 out of 75. You believe so? Okay. All right, so that's a pretty even line then, if it's minus 110 on both sides. 
John Mudry says you'd go under. I think the sharper play would be under, but, you know, for a fun prop like this, you know, Vegas knows that. Because, they're the, you know, Vegas is expecting the public to want the over so bad that they're going to bet the over. So the sharper play probably is under, but that's not the fun play on a fun prop like this. All right, we're almost to the deck of book back there. We've got, ooh, wow, Ronald Acuna Jr., one of one, with the wood top on there. Braves, Brandon Braves Saunders. I know it's Bray Saunders, but this time Braves Saunders. Wow. That is awesome. They need to do... I, I really like the idea of like a, a natural wood being on a card. I think they got to try to include this into more sets. That is awesome. That is sick. Brandon Ray Saunders. Braves Saunders. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And there's another one for Brandon. Dansby Swan uh, Swanson. So Kyle's saying they had 70. Astros had 70 hit by pitches in 17 and 66 and 18. So maybe a few extra gets right around 83. But what if this guy, right, knows that he's going to be thrown at, so they avoid hit by pitches more often. Maybe he's not sitting as close into the box. And now that they don't know <laughs> what's coming, you know, maybe they're a little more cautious. All right, let's see what's here. Good luck, everybody. Is there a card below it? There is a card below it. There's Aaron Nola. Phillies. That's going to be for Patrick Davis. 40 out of 99. He's got a great auto. He should be one of the coaches at the Jaspies autograph camp to help those who have less than stellar penmanship. All right. Could be a randomizer nightmare. Could be one happy person, nine sad people. What do we got? Oh, it looks like multiple people. Let's look at it this way. All right, we got Andy Pettit, Mariano Rivera, Pedro Martinez, John Smoltz, Greg Maddox, the big unit, Randy Johnson. Nolan Ryan, Roger Clemens, Bob Gibson, and Steve Carlton. Wow. That is amazing. Where's the number? The number's right over there. That's 8 out of 10. Nice low number. A lot of excellent pitchers here. All right, well... I think Brandon's got a lot of teams, so he must be in on a lot of these teams. Yankees, Brandon. Yankees, Brandon. Red Sox, Brandon. Braves, Brandon. Braves, Brandon. Mariners, Brandon. Astros, Brandon. Red Sox, Brandon. Cardinals, William Hawkins. Phillies, Patrick Davis. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we got to do a randomizer. So there's only three people involved in this randomizer. There could be one really, really, really sad person and then one really, really happy person. We're going to find out. One really, really sad person, one less sad person, and one really, really happy person. That's how it's going to work out. All right. So New York Yankee. Oh, sorry. Let me flip screens really quick. So I'm setting up this randomizer right now. Andy Pettit. Mariana Rivera, Pedro Martinez, John Smoltz, 
Greg Maddox, Randy Johnson, Nolan Ryan, Houston edition, and uh, Roger Clemens, Red Sox, Bob Gibson, St. Louis Cardinals, and Steve Carlton, Philadelphia Phillies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Plus, we've got an, we got that triple relic we need to randomize too. I almost forgot about this in the moment. So that's uh, Frank Thomas, Chicago White Sox, Ken Griffey Jr., Seattle Mariners, and Mark McGuire, Oakland A's. I think Brandon got two out of three on that one too. All right, Brandon, good luck, and everybody, good luck. Thank you for getting in. We'll try to dig up some more of this triple threads. We're gonna randomize. Both of those lists, nine times. Six and a three. Nine. Triple relic first. One. Two. Team on top gets it. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And ninth and final time. Good luck. Team on top after nine is going to be the Chicago White Sox. That'll be for Brandon Ray Saunders. There you go. That triple relic. Nice low number on this one, too. Nine out of nine. Sorry, a lot of... Triple threads, box dust on this. There we go. All right. Now the big one. Remember, the number's right over there. Kind of hard to see, but it's 8 out of 10 on this one. So another low number on this Deca Relic book. There it is right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 6 and a 3. 9 times. Team on top gets it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, team on top. Boston Red Sox, Brandon Bray Saunders with Boston. He had like an 80% chance, so he definitely had the odds with him. Congrats, Brandon. This DECA relic book going your way. That was pick your team number... I didn't mark the number on the. What number is this? Pick your team number Jordan, number 23. There you go. So thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.